We go over to Teton Pass here. You can see some of that smoke down into Fort Jackson. Our friends at Jackson Hole Radio told us that the other morning. They woke up to it. It was like, yep, we got some smoke down in the valley. And it is streaming in from that moose fire. And we had that other fire break out the other morning, too, the Bray Fire. And that seems to be contained at this point. And that's good news. We'll take that. Let's make sure we're on alert tomorrow. The winds are going to pick up around here. That means we have a fire weather watch that we have put into play for most of you within the sound of my face. It hit 95 degrees yesterday in Idaho Falls. Could you feel the heat as you stuck to your seat? Yep. I'm telling you, you got to have one of those sunscreens in the car. You got to crack the windows and uh, you got, you know, it's nice to have teenagers that can drive because I can take my girls and say, look, go turn the car on, they cool that thing down a little bit. I don't have the automatic start. I know. I know I'm not like Coombs. I'm not rich, but uh, I do indeed uh, believe in cooling the car down for the people you love. 88 is our average for this time of the year, and that's where we should be. It's warmer than that, folks. It's going to be 90 when you step at the door in Pocatello and try to get squirted by a fire truck. Uh, you go to Idaho Falls this afternoon, it is bright, sunny, and it has that just that thin layer of smoke out there. And I don't know if you could feel it, but I woke up this morning about 2 o'clock here coming into dress rehearsal here, and you could just, I mean, you could just, it's, it's an aura about you. Yeah, so you like smoked brisket. <clears throat> yep, uh, I'm available. 83 in Idaho Falls in <laughs> bright sunshine. It's about 79 in Driggs, 78 in Jackson. The peach area that you see shaded here is our fire weather watch, and it encompasses pretty much every valley and the higher elevations for us. We're leaving out the bottom part of the southeastern highlands at this point, and we have uh, fire weather warnings on into Wyoming. So know that with winds picking up for tonight, as this little system jaunts in from the south and we begin to get some cloudiness, even a shower chance into the state line areas, four or five o'clock, uh, things are gonna pick up. The winds are gonna be pushing through here about 20 plus tomorrow. And it's so dry with so little moisture, that's why we have the fire weather watch in effect. So we'll have clouds off and on here for the back end of this week. Watch as the winds pick up into tomorrow. We'll start to see that scoot through the central Sun Valley area. And then into tomorrow afternoon, yeah, we're doing 20 plus mile an hour winds. So any kind of fire that kicks up or if you're dragging chains or exploding targets or whatever you're doing, please be careful. We just really don't want to deal with this. And I know that it's hard for some people to breathe still in Limhigh County. Watching that fire, thanks to our first responders, who are taking care of all that stuff and the helicopter and uh, people that have left their family to go and take care of other people. Uh, I get it. 88 in Ledore, 95 Salmon. It's going to be in the low to mid 90s through the day today. Rexburg will hit 91 and congratulations to all the graduates. Uh, 96 for the afternoon in Pocatello, 96 in Burley, 87 in Jackson. My kids are here and I, I, I just told them, I said, well, yeah, we should go over to the Museum of Clean. It'll inspire you to do something to your room. Yeah, that went over like a pregnant pole vaulter, right? Uh, it's going to be about 93 for the afternoon in Blackfoot, 95 and hot for the day today. Uh, I think we ought to go get in Jensen's Grove and try to sop up whatever water's there. 91 for Rexburg and 93 tomorrow. You kick the weekend off with some really hot temperatures here. We get this front through here and we just cool down just a, uh, just a skip. Uh, it's going to be dropping a couple of degrees. Jackson, 87, pushing 89, and then we see those, those comfortable overnight lows are in the 40s. Best time to cut the grass in the neighborhood, about 4.30 in the morning, I think. Pocatello, uh, night, coldest right before the dawn. Yeah, for that guy who kept shooting fireworks over the holidays, boom, get some, Mr. M80. 93 for Idaho Falls and hot rock and flame-throwing sunshine for the afternoon today. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jeff.